the way last year ended and only being a couple weeks away from starting practice, just how, how excited are you for the group you have and to get back out there? Well, you know, every year is a, is a different team and different challenges. And so, you know, part of the, part of the process is identifying what, what's going to be your biggest challenges. And, you know, those don't really come to, to fruition until you maybe play some games and get, get some things under your wings. But, uh, you know, you're learning more about your team in the month of October than you do in the month of September. And, so as a coaching staff, we're pretty excited for that. The schedule finally uh, came out for you guys. What are your thoughts, kind of it, as a whole? And you got some, you know, tough road games, and obviously, you know, a home, home slate that's probably you know a little better than maybe you've had yeah. before. And you know, that's something we're always striving for. And, and you know, I think we got some great games, uh, great atmospheres. We're in a terrific preseason tournament, one of the best ones out there. And uh, you know, we're going to be challenged, and we're really going to be challenged right out of the gate in, in November. And, uh, so we have to be ready to go because it's going to be one good team after another to start the season. And, uh, and then, you know, you get into the Mountain West. There's a lot of good teams this year in the Mountain West. we got some great home nights. Uh, we got a lot of good Saturday uh, home nights that I'm excited about. And so it's going, to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and I think season ticket sales are going good. And, you know, we want to pack this place like we did at the end of the year, pick up where we left off. And, because it, it, it makes for a big advantage for us. For, for you, I mean, again, these are the last couple of weeks before basketball season, the first practice begins. What's this type of year like for you, the, the anticipation, the anxiety, whatever it might be? Well, you know, I always enjoy football this time of year at the start of the year. And, you know, now all of a sudden we're doing this uh, with our guys in the next couple of days. All of a sudden you're like, okay, it's real. It's, it's time to go. We kind of close the book on the summer conditioning preseason workouts and, and it's really away we go and we don't look up until March. So it gets pretty crazy and pretty hectic, and, uh, but it's nice to have a veteran group that we're excited to be around. What, what, you look, what, oh, so you, you look at a guy like James Webb and he had tremendous success last year and you kind of, you know, peak on NBA draft boards and all this stuff. And I guess how, uh, how has he gone from, you know, this point in time last year, a relatively unknown yeah. guy to to a guy that, again, many people are projecting to get drafted. I mean, how's he, how's he handled that this offseason? You know, I think he's handling it great, and, that, and that's going to be a big key to how he performs and how he handles all that. And, there, you know, there's always – every kid has different things they have to handle. That's probably one of the things that he has to focus on and, and make sure to focus on the right things for us to be a good team. And, you know, that's what this time of year is for, is to get our minds right of, of the team and, the, and, and what the most important thing is and what we're willing to sacrifice to be a great team. That's going to be the key to this team. You've got him, obviously, you have Anthony coming back, the freshman. What, what excites you most about this team? What are you really looking forward to? Well, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes and who's going to be the surprises. And like, you know, you were saying about James, you know, James was probably ninth, 10th, 11th man this time last year, and he ended up being all Mountain West player, newcomer of the year. So, you know, we're going to have some surprises as the, years go, as the year goes on, and, and we're going to have some guys step up. And uh, the interesting thing that, Probably going to be interesting for me and for everybody else that's watching us is is who what combinations are going to be out there together and we got a lot of guys that can play and so it's going to be hard to figure out who gets to play and and, and how much. How, how has Anthony been? You know, you know, I know he he obviously is the kind of guy who wishes that ankle was healed right away. Yeah. And I know maybe there's some some frustration with that, but you know, how has he looked and 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 how eager are you to get him out there? Well, Anthony's not a very patient guy. <laughs> You know, he's in his fifth year here, so, you know, I, I do have to keep that in mind where we might have to slow play him a little bit because he, he always goes so hard when we when we get after it. And uh, I know that when November comes, he's going to go hard for us. And so I might have to keep the reins on him a little bit just to keep him from doing too much too soon. And, but, you know, he, he's full bore right now. And, and like I said, though, I think it's our job to kind of keep the reins on him a little bit. What well, can you tell us about the new big fella you added late here? Well, Big Robin, he, you know, he came in, uh, he's big, he's 6'10", 270, and he's got nice hands, nice feet. Uh, he's kind of getting acclimated to, the, uh, to the, the system over here and how much you have to do, how much physical activity there is. And I think he was a little worried today. I think he thought he was joining the U.S. military. So, uh, But it's, he's doing a great job, and, and I think he's, you know, he's a 21-year-old freshman who's just going to get better and better as we go. You know, you've been here obviously a few years now, and it certainly seems like the level of talent in your program from, from top to bottom is, is certainly better than it was, you know, when, when you first got in here. Just your, your view is on the, on the uh, your take on the program and, and where it's at. And, uh, again, it well, seems like there's better talent top yeah, to bottom you know, here. Like our, our, we, we tell our guys, it's, just, it's all about continuous improvement, how much we can get better, and that's how we feel as a staff. Is uh, Last year had nothing to do with this year, and we have to get better as coaches. We have to you know, have a continuous.
this flow of innovation. We have to, you know, be thinking ahead of the game and figuring things out for this team. And like I said, each team's different, and we have to do a better job at this team than we did last year.